Hi everybody, it's Jayma Malmi here and I have an update to share with you that I'm super excited about and I'm also going to be sharing these two new catalogs with you from Close to My Heart. They are super awesome, they just launched, so stay tuned to that. I'm gonna share some of my must-haves as well as flip through the catalogs for you. But first I wanted to share with you that I am moving, my family and I are moving to Colorado. We are originally from California. We've lived in Washington and Oregon and most recently lived in Indiana for the past two years. We're ready to move back closer to family and we've always loved Colorado. So we decided, hey, let's make it happen. We're ready to settle long-term. Let's go where we wanna go and not just where the job takes us. So we are super excited. That's why I've got these patches up here and this is probably the last thing hanging in the whole house. We're moving in less than two weeks, so I'm still gonna have lots of content for you guys. I've pre-recorded stuff. Um, I might miss here or there, but still planning to post every Thursday for you, and hopefully you will still enjoy my videos. So let's go ahead and dive into the catalogs because I know you are going to love them. Okay, so here are both of the catalogs. We're gonna walk through the core catalog first. This is gonna be available for the whole year, and then we're gonna take a peek at the September-October catalog. And along the way, I'll show you some of my favorite papers in person um, as we walk through this. So, we're gonna go through this pretty quickly. I'm gonna point out things that I think are important or noteworthy. First of all, we've got an opportunity to become a maker if you want to sell Close to My Heart products yourself. And there's also a VIP program, which is awesome. If you wanna get a discount and make your crafty dollars go further, you get 15% back on all of your purchases. I will have a link down below with more information on that. We've got a scrapbook starter kit and a card making starter kit now. And this is the Craft with Heart scrapbook and card making subscriptions. So these come with everything pre-cut, um, stickers, die cuts, base pages, makes it super easy to put scrapbook pages together. And this is the same thing, but for cards, the bases are pre-printed. You've got stickers, pre-cut die cuts, and super easy to make cards and layouts come together. So again, I will leave more information about these before I've done videos on these, uh, at least on the scrapbooking kits before. I love stepping them up and making them my own. These are our how-to books. The Love of Color um, is a great one for finding color combos. Some sketchbooks, brush, lettering, and penmanship books. And then here is As You Grow. And this is the collection that I worked with for my convention presentation. And I'll be doing another video unboxing that package that I got as a convention presenter real soon. So just wanna give you a close up look of these because it is such a cute collection. If you look at the sticker sheet, it looks pretty baby themed, but check these out. It's very non-baby. One side is a little bit more masculine. One side is a little bit more feminine but super, super versatile. I love this collection. We've got plaids and florals and dots and stars and so many things. It is a larger collection and it comes with two sheets of each paper. So I've got just the one sheet that I'm showing you now and then this is all repeats of what you just saw. So really cute collection. And there's also Picture My Life cards, which are the pocket cards that come in three by four and four by six sizes in the package. I love using these to make cards, to add journaling spots to my scrapbook layouts for pocket scrapbooking, to add just little, you know, stash these behind your photo for layering as embellishments on your pages. So they, again, are very versatile and um, look at that cute little fox. So it goes along with the paper pack. Lots of great patterns. Some of them are very similar to the paper in the paper pack and some of them are very different. It looks like I had kind of had a mix of two <laughs> packs there because you only get one of each of those. And then here we go. I had a few packs of these from um, that I got in my convention box. Um, 
so I might have gotten some of those mixed up. But such pretty colors and pretty patterns in these. I like to show the picture of my life cards in the video and I apologize I'm going so fast. I just want to be able to get through everything for you. Um, but not all of them are shown in the catalog. So here's the page that shows the paper and all of the picture of my life cards, but not all of them are shown. So I like to show you all of them and you can also get coordinating card stock. So you know that all of the papers in this pack are going to coordinate with the paper pack. Okay. Now on to smarty pants. I love this collection. It's such fun, bright, vibrant colors. And I have this to show you as well. So look at the sticker sheet. Really, really cute, bright colors, lots of options for titles and just embellishments. Some of them can be used for cards if you want. I love this ruler border. I think that's one of my favorite stickers. And these stickers are cardstock stickers. So they're very heavyweight, nice quality. And then let's take a look at the paper. Same thing, it's a larger paper pack and you get two of each sheet. So right here is the front and back of those. And um, then you've got this one. So it looks like I've got the fronts and backs already shown here. And some of these can be used for so many different things. It doesn't have to be just a back to school or school theme. There's so many different options that you can use these for. Here's another kind of star pattern in a different color. And look at that cool cork board. Love that. And then we've got the wide rule paper and paper airplanes on the back of that one. And then we've got some sort of science-y theme with the composition notebook looking pattern on there. So super fun patterns for your school layouts. I know those are always um, fun layouts to do and I'll be showing you one real soon. All right, so here is a look at the Picture My Life cards. Again, great for your journaling spots. I like also putting these in flip flaps. Um, or the pocket plus page inserts, which allows you to add extra photos to the insides of your layouts, like in between your two layouts. I've shown those a lot in videos before, and I'll link here to an example. So there's a three by four, and then here are the four by six cards. Super cute. You can also cut these in half. So like if you only need a three by four, you've still got that cute saying right there. So I always like getting the picture of my life cards whenever I get a paper pack because it just helps you stretch your paper pack a little bit further and who doesn't like that? And then I also like to get the coordinating card stock like I pointed out in the As You Grow collection because then you know you're getting all the card stock that coordinates with the paper. So here's what that looks like in the catalog and there's the colors that come in the coordinating cardstock. And then we've got Love Story and I don't have this paper to show you because I've already got it packed, um, but it's really, really pretty. And the nice thing about this is that you can get it in black and white, mink and white, which is a gray or toffee and white. And each of the paper packs is a little different. So the black and white one has gold foil accents. The gray and white one has silver foil accents. And then the toffee has a clear embossed coating on it. So it's really hard to see here. And then there's gold and silver picture my life cards available as well. So you can add them with any color combo for a wedding or anything else that you want this nice, elegant touch. All right, I'm super excited about the wood grain and all of these smaller paper packs that I'm gonna show you next. So here is a closer look at the wood grain and these you get two of each of three papers. So this is all front and back shown already. And we had a wood green paper in our last annual catalog. It was so popular that a different one has been brought back. So you can see that it's the same on the back. So there's one, two, three different ones and you get two of each. So it is a lower price point at $6.95 for these smaller packs. 
and they don't have sticker sheets. So here is the textures. So here are all of the different textures. I know it's um, nice to see them up close on the camera and even better when you get them and hold them in your hands yourself. But look how realistic that brick looks. Basket weave, linen. This one is, it's kind of hard to tell. It's like a concrete and then denim. And look at that cool, it's like a paint or um, like a paintbrush stroke. Looks really cool. Okay, and then we're gonna turn the page and we've got two more of the smaller packs. So here is Noteworthy. And this is super fun um, because the back of each of these is a little bit different and I'll show you that. So first we've got a notebook paper, music paper. This one has little tiny dots. I don't know if it's picking it up very well. Graph paper, wide ruled notebook paper, and then a ledger paper. And then look at the cute zip strips on each of those. Those are the manufacturing strips, but one side has a print on it so you can use them in your projects. And then the other side has like an antiqued look of each of those patterns. So it's the same pattern, but a more grunge look. And then you can see the back of the zip strip has that manufacturing information, like the item number, what it's called, and um, of course the um, manufacturer's name and all that. And then lastly, we've got this rose gold. And wow, this is so beautiful in person. I'm gonna try to show you the shine, but I think it's just, it's hard to capture. It's so, so pretty in person. Look at how beautiful that is. So many patterns. So you get six sheets. This is just one-sided because of the foiling but that's super pretty. So that is the rose gold. And let me show you the artwork that they put on these pages. It's so pretty. And then of course you'll be seeing projects from me. Now we've got a lot more um, stamps that we're gonna have. And so a lot of them come with coordinating dies like this book set here. And here are a couple more. I am gonna go through these pages a little bit quicker just so we don't take up a ton of time, but want to be able to show you a little bit of all the goodness that's coming. So I have an example using this one. I made this cute little shaker card. So you can see the background here. I've used that happy birthday with the balloons, which is right here. It does have a thin cut. You can get the thin cuts with this, but I just stamped it as a background repeatedly to make my own pattern paper. And then I used a shaker and on the back of the shaker, I used the little cupcakes that are on here, right here. And I didn't use the thin cuts with them, but I'll use those on other projects. This is the new color of the year, which you'll see in a bit. It is wild berry. There are new gnomes, which are always popular, the party gnomes set, and there is the artwork for that. Let me show you the artwork for that too, because it's so cute. I love those bright colors. Okay, now we've got this build a cake set. It's called Happy Cake Day, and I did make a card with that as well. So I ink blended with some Distress Oxides, and then I stamped right onto it after it was good and dry and layered that up there. And then I also took Distress Oxides and flicked them on the back for those little confetti looking splatters. So there's one card I made with this set so far. And then I love this set. We got this in our convention bundle for attending virtual convention. And I just wanted to show you what I did with mine. I cut out a ton of them. I stamped a ton of them. I cut them out and I practiced my alcohol ink blending. This is a great set to practice on because you're only gonna use three colors of the tri-blends. So our tri-blend markers come with three different shades of the same color. So this made a really great set for me to practice on because I'm not the greatest alcohol ink colorer. And I definitely noticed improvement after practicing all of these. And then I loved adding stickles to the inside filling on some of them. My favorite though is adding the white liquid pearls. I love how that looked. 
that was super fun. So I stamped a ton of these and I colored them during the virtual convention just to kind of keep my hands busy and didn't have to think a lot about it, but lots of fun color combos. And I used that love of color book that I showed you at the beginning to get my color combo ideas for some of them. Okay, so we've got the buddies. There's different buddies that are definitely going to be popular. And then the besties have been brought back. This was a very popular um, series of these cute girls. Some more school theme stamps. This one is cute. It's a library card. These that are in white are thin cuts. And by the way, anything that's shaded in white like these comes with matching dies. You can get it with or without the dies. But look at the cute little library card pocket on that and then you can add the date and um, stuff like that with that as well. Lots of sentiments if you are a card maker and you want a sentiment for everything that is a great set. This is the set I was most excited about in this whole catalog. It is so versatile you can have little controlled splatters, background texture, splotches, background or um like lines so many options with that and so there's some artwork you can see some of the splotches right here some little dots right there so if you like the look of splatters but are scared to splatter something yourself this is a great option this is a great option for the look of watercolor if you don't want to actually watercolor so i was really excited to see that set this is a lot of different stitching options faux stitching of course we've got all of the different country stamps where close to my heart is we've got all new alphabet sets super cute sets so be sure to look at those here is the melissa esplin books on brush lettering and penmanship and we still have our partnership with stacy julian and her story by stacy line this is one of the most exciting pages in the book because there are so many awesome dies. Look at those. So we've got the purse, we've got the cupcake card, and that's what that looks like. It opens up and has all the pieces for the cupcake. You can see all the pieces here. We've got the backpack and the pieces there. There's the purse shows you all the pieces and then a gift card holder. This is two dies so you can put the little tabs on this side or on the top and bottom of the gift card. We still have the waterfall dies and the spinner card dies, which are back and popular. Here's some more new ones, the buildable tags and see those flowers. Those are so pretty. Those are on their way to me and um, cause they weren't in stock right away when we had our preview period. A bunch of tabs, two-sided tabs, so you can add them to your flip flaps or journaling pieces to pull out um, to pretty those up. And then we still have our tags and tabs, thin cuts. Here are those flowers. I love them. They're so pretty and so detailed without being too detailed and too fussy to put together. You know what I mean? Some of those sets out there can be pretty crazy. And then there's the small bow that's being brought back. And we have a lot of thin line, or slim line, sorry, dies. So I've got a couple here to show you. So here is the um, hearts one. Here is the polka dot one. And then look at how cute that looks with the color of the year, wild berry glitter paper behind it. So pretty, isn't this a gorgeous color? Love that, and it looks really cute behind the slimline dies. And here's another example of a card I made with that, with the Harbor glitter paper and cardstock as the background. Super, super fun. Okay, here are some more dies, and they have matching shaker foam kits if you wanna do shaker windows. Here are the shakers that we already had. Some more shakers. Here is a new um, alphabet and number die set that are really cute. We have new word dies. 
and a new embossing folder. Our embossing folders are five by seven, so they are a bigger size. Lots of glitter paper, and there's more glitter paper in the new colors, which by the way, I didn't even point out. So Wildberry, Capri, Papaya, Mulberry, Harbor, Mocha, those are all new colors. I'll point them out here at the end too. This is all stuff that we've already had. Um, we've got some new shimmer trims and new sequins here. Oops, I skipped a page. We've got, look at this confetti. They're like little rubbery pieces that look like sprinkles and little hearts. These look like little gems. It's hard to tell. Um, uh, color of the year glitter, wildberry glitter gems, sequins, and dots. And then over here, these are all acrylic shapes. They come in black and white acrylic, and they also all come in wood. So all three options are available, so you can see that here. There's black, there's white, and there's wood in each of these um, shapes. Moving right along, there's not much new here. Some new bundles is all. We've got new shimmer brushes in the new colors new bundles, but nothing else new here except for the white gloss spray and the gold gloss spray. And I'll show you more about that in the next video. We've got lots of new stencils. So these are card front stencils. So they'll fit the front of an A2 card and they come in bundles. So this one creates a really fun plaid pattern when you layer it all up. You've got these three patterns that will come together and then these three word patterns that will come together. And then these ones are 12 by 12 stencils, which are great for scrapbooking. So these are all gonna come together, these are all gonna come together, and these ones are all gonna come together for $14.95. They are super handy for doing a whole background of a scrapbook page. Okay, we have two new block sizes that used to be available and now they're back. The uh, one by one and a half, which I love, and then we've got the four by four that's back. And we now have a die cut machine. You guys, I don't have this. I want it, I'm going to get it, but I've heard it is amazing. You can change the pressure on it so you don't have to keep changing your um, shims or plat or uh, you know inserts, platforms and stuff. There's a little dial on here that you spin and if you want it a little bit tighter or a little bit looser, you just spin that and it will change. And I've heard it cuts like butter. So I'll show that to you once I get it. And this is all, our organization is great. Not much new here. There's a new um, die holder, some new digital files, and not much is new back here. So I'll just flip through it quickly. New colors. So we've got papaya, we've got capri, we've got mulberry, we've got harbor, We've got mocha, we've got wild berry, and then super exciting is our black cardstock now comes in black core. So all of our cardstock previously has been white core and all of the other cardstock we carry is still white core. And you can do some cool techniques, techniques with that, but the black now comes in black core and um, it's also a little bit heavier than the regular black cardstock. So that is, and then you can also make your own cardstock packs as well. So that is the core catalog, and I'm going to quickly show you the um, September, October. So the first few pages are the same, and then we get to pumpkin spice. So cute. And by the way, you can get your own copy of these catalogs for free with any order on my website. You just need to make sure you don't check out as a guest because you have to be logged in to get the free catalogs added to your order. But um, super easy to place an order and it's any size order. I'll leave all the links down below. So look at this pumpkin spice. So cute, right? I love that. I love fall and I know so many people do. And then let's take a look at all of the fun patterns that come in this kit. 
So this one has that beautiful harbor color background. This harbor color is my new favorite color because it is a deep, rich neutral. It, be, it can be sort of more blue, sort of more gray, sort of more green. It depends on what it's with or, and what you need it to be. It is such a beautiful color. And then the back of that paper is this plaid. And then we've got the sweaters and boots. We've got the beautiful trees. We've got the stripes and we've got the polka dots. So really, really fun patterns and stickers there that I'm really excited about. And let's take a look at the picture of my life cards. So here's the three by fours. Really fun ways to journal or embellish your pages again, or make cards. I love taking a pack of picture my life cards and adding a little bit of card stock, maybe a stamp set or a few embellishments and just see how many cards I can get out of them. Usually I can get 12 to 15 cards out of one pack of picture my life cards by just adding a few extra supplies. And it's really fun to see how far I can get my pack to go and um, use all the extra little scraps and everything. So as you can see, these are super cute and I'm also going to show you a really cute coordinating stamp set that matches the boots and the sweaters and the scarfs and it's just adorable that goes along with this. We have wood stickers, which how perfect is the wood with this theme? Okay, it's a really thin wood veneer and you can see the laser cuts out of them but they are sticky and it's super sticky on the back so they're really super sticky stickers and just a tip instead of trying to peel your sticker right off from here take it like punch it out completely from this um, carrier sheet first and then peel off the backing so you don't rip anything i kind of did that already on one piece but um that's just a little tip and um, these are just so cute. And then since they have the release on the back, you can kind of audition on your page or your card where it's gonna go before you peel it off and stick it. Okay, so let's go to the next page. And here's all of those. Here is the coordinating card stock that you can get with that. And then there's also digital art files. So in previous catalogs, Close to My Heart has had many Cricut collections. This is in lieu of the Cricut collection. If you purchase it, it is going to be purchased through Close to My Heart's website instead of my Cricut affiliate link, and you'll download the SVGs, and then you can use those into Cricut Design Space or Silhouette Design Studio. So you can use it with either machine. It's and you'll get the SVGs. Lots of fun themed stuff. Look at those cute cards. So here is that set I was telling you about with the sweaters and the boots and the scarves. And there's lots of thin cuts available as well. There's the cute artwork. And um, I was going to show you my set. Again, I colored a bunch of these. I colored some yellow boots because I have a cute picture of my son in his yellow rain boots. But these were just really, really fun to color in all different patterns. You can make the sweaters match whatever um, sweaters are in your um, in your pictures or, you know, make a little wreath with all of the different wearables and lots of fun things that you can do with that set. So here's like they did sort of a little wreath around there and I think that looks so cute. Okay, and then every paper pack in the two month catalog has a workshop kit. And these are fantastic because you get everything that's shown here. It's a full paper pack plus some cardstock sheets plus an accessory so you get those wood shapes plus two exclusive papers and that's what these background papers are over here that are only available in the kit and also some die cuts that are only available in the kit that you'll use on the projects. So a lot of these leaf die cuts and this big old pumpkin. So these are really fun and they come with the written and picture instructions with full cutting guides and everything. So you can create these gorgeous, gorgeous layouts on your own. 
And we also have that for cards. So this kit will make four of each of these cards. So a total of 16. And again, the stamp set and dies are exclusive to the kit. Here is the stamp set. All of these that you see outlined have a coordinating die. So you've got all these dies and then you get some um, pattern paper and cardstock and then all of the card bases and envelopes and the rose gold shimmer trim. So our card and scrapbook kits, you guys, are so awesome. Holly and Ivy is the beautiful Christmas themed paper. I'm gonna show you that here real quick. So I've already cut into this paper okay, because my um, creative design team and I are going to be doing a Christmas card series again and we'll be sharing more information about that in the coming days. But let's see, I'm missing one of the, so there's another one of these that I'm missing, but those are the cute patterns. Isn't that gorgeous? I love those deer and the colors. And look at this pattern. If you look really closely, you can even see the fur. This is supposed to look like a fawn, the spots on the, on the little deer. So really, really pretty. And then here is that pattern that's missing on the front since I've used it. But those are super cute. And then let's look at the Picture My Life cards. These would be perfect to make a set of Christmas cards to send out this year. They'd all be just a little bit different. Maybe add a little bit of shimmer trim or glitter paper to glam them up and some gold glitter gems. I'm pretty sure I will be making a set and sharing them. Sometimes I make kits with a cutting guide and everything that I offer for sale. Um, just depends since I'm moving. I'm not sure how much time I'm gonna have to do something like that. And we've got our upcoming um, Christmas card series. So we will see if that gets done, but I just love these. You can also create a um, December daily with these. Maybe add just a little bit of patterned paper to it or cardstock, and you'll have cute little ways to dress up your December daily. And then we've got these die cuts, which I am in love with. So let's start with the glitter. It doesn't look like much here, but let's turn it over and you can see all of the patterns. So that's all of the different pieces you get in the red glitter. And then we've got the green. We've got some leaves and holly leaves and the little flower poinsettias. And then we've got all of these shapes as well. So these would be really great to pair with the Picture My Life cards to create your Christmas cards as well. All right, let's set that aside and turn the page. So here's a look at all of that again that I just showed you. These are the colors that come in the coordinating card stock pack. There is the um, SVG collection that you can download. There's even a whole scrapbook page and some tags, tags and a card, and then some title options there. Cute Christmas cards and artwork. I am loving these. Here is the workshop that works in the same way as the pumpkin spice workshop that I showed you really cute pages and there's everything that comes with the kit it is available with or without the page protectors as well but if you've used close to my heart page protectors you know they are really really sturdy and awesome here is the card kit again makes 16 cards and these are the dies and then you've got this cool background paper or background stamp and by the way also every one of our kits features a different technique. So the technique on this one is gold embossing. So there's, you can kind of see the gold embossing on there. And then the, there's also a list of other supplies needed. There's usually a few other supplies that you may or may not already have on hand or can kind of switch out with something else that you might already have too. Here's the mix-in collection and this is designed to mix in with both of the paper collections from the catalog. 
So they are just very um, simple patterns, lots of, it looks like it's all plaid this time, and the colors will marry well with the paper packs. Look at that beautiful artwork. Such a fun way to use up your scraps. Now we're gonna get into the stamps, and I am going to cruise through these fairly quickly so I don't take up too much time. But look at the Halloween besties. They all have little accessories. There's some artwork ideas. And then we've got the Halloween buddies as well. Super, super fun. We've got some um, fun fall themed sets. I know a lot of people are excited about this deer set, the hunting. Love a good leaf set. This is a cute, whimsical one. I'm loving that. Look at this beautiful artwork. I think I'm going to try to recreate that. It's so pretty. Love this set as well. My daughter was excited about this. She loves coloring and she wanted to color these images. So that's on the way to us as well. Look at how fun these would be to color. Cute little dogs and cats for Christmas. And there's the artwork. So, so cute. More Christmas sets with coordinating artwork. The PDFs for these are on my website as well. I will link to the um, page on the website where they're at. So if you wanted to look at anything closer or download the PDF, you have that until you get a real copy. Here are some great stamps for tags for your holiday gifts. And we've got the September and October months of the year stamps. Every two month catalog comes with the um, stamps for those months, just like in all of the um, catalogs past. So these ones are super cute. I'll be using this one later this month for a project. And this is the special for the month. So this is National Stamping Month, also known as Stamp Timber. And so Close to My Heart has a slimline celebration where you can buy these special um, slimline dies. So there's stars and circles and there's special stamp sets with coordinating thin cuts. So there's the cute little gnomes. There's the fish. And there's these little critters. And as you can see, almost every image comes with a coordinating thin cut, but of course you can get them with or without the thin cuts. And then there's the slimline stamp set, which comes with vertical and horizontal um, greetings that fit a slimline card. And this is a double set that's available as um, it comes all together, but it's a double stamp set, so it's a big one. We've got a Merry Christmas thin cut and some little peppermint um, shaker elements and some cute fall elements that can go in the shakers. And look at, there's like little beads, tiny sequins, leaf sequins, and regular round sequins. There's a nice little mix there. This is the September stamp of the month. So this is available for $5 with a $50 purchase or if you are a VIP, as I mentioned in the beginning of this video, you can get this for free with a $50 purchase. And that's just one of the many perks of being a VIP. And again, I'll link the information below. And here is next month's stamp of the month. Isn't that gorgeous? That's gonna be really fun to play with. Okay, so, oh, and then here is the Smile Big stamp set. This is a set that, um, benefits the Operation Smile, which is a nonprofit that um, helps give life-changing surgeries to kids, usually in third world countries. And $7 of this set goes toward Operation Smile, and it only costs $241 US for a surgery for a kid. And it can fix their cleft lip or cleft palate, and it really, really makes a big difference to these families. So I hope that you enjoyed looking at both of these catalogs and all of the amazing goodies. If you're ready to shop, I will link everything down below because I'm sure you saw some things that you would like. Or if you want to look at the catalog PDF yourself, I will link that down below as well. And if you have any questions, let me know. Thanks a lot and have a great day.